Welcome to the Pharmacist Voice Podcast, Episode 218. I'm the host, Kim Newlove. In 2018, I bought my first USB microphone. What is a USB microphone, you may be wondering? It's just a microphone that plugs directly into your computer's USB port. I thought that I just had to plug a microphone into my computer's USB port to make it work. I thought you plug it in and the computer just knows to use that instead of the built-in microphone. But I was wrong. This was five years ago. Boy, I knew nothing. (laughs) Now I know quite a bit. But if this sounds like you, you plugged your microphone in and just assumed that your computer would know to use it, you need to listen to this episode. In this episode, I share eight tips for setting up a microphone. We'll start with the low-hanging fruit, the really low-hanging fruit first, then we'll move on up to more complicated tips. All right, here we go. Tip number one, read the directions. Why read the directions? It's because that's how you learn about the buttons and dials on your microphone. There are buttons and dials, possibly, on your microphone. Your instructions will tell you how to use them. There may also be directions about firmware, which allows your computer to use your microphone. All computers and microphones are not created alike. Therefore, read the directions. Tip number two, plug the microphone in and turn it on. I have worked with people who have plugged their microphone in, but not turned it on. Don't let this happen to you. Plug it in and turn it on. Tip number three, take a picture of your setup once you get it exactly how you like it. You want to note where the microphone is in relation to your computer and your chair, how your buttons and dials are set up, which way the microphone is facing, and all that great stuff. Why take a picture of it, you may be wondering. It's for reference. One day, you might move your microphone, or your spouse, or kids, or a well-meaning person in your household will move it, or they'll mess with it, and honestly, you need a fast and easy way to get back up and running. Once you get your microphone set up and sounding great, take a picture, print it out, and keep that printout in the area where you use your microphone. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Tip number four. Your microphone is the input. I-N-P-U-T, input. What am I talking about? Here we go. When you have a USB microphone, you need to tell the program that you're using that the USB microphone is your sound input. I am using an Audio-Technica 2100 USB microphone. Therefore, I need to tell my recording software that I'm recording on right this minute that that is the sound input. Why do I need to do that? Because otherwise, my recording software will just use the internal microphone in my computer, which doesn't sound as good as a microphone. If you're thinking, oh, Kim, I need some examples, here you go. There are at least three situations that this will happen. The situation being your microphone is the input. Number one, If you're using audio engineering software, for example, I am using Studio One Artist right this second. I had to tell Studio One Artist that my Audio-Technica 2100 USB microphone is the audio input, okay? Second situation, maybe you're using some video conferencing software like Zoom. Whether you're doing a podcast interview or you're just there for an online meeting, you need to tell Zoom to use your Audio-Technica 2100 USB microphone. Or there's a third situation. Maybe you're using an app on your computer, like the Photo Booth app, if you're a Mac user. So again, you have to tell Studio One Artist, Zoom, or the Photo Booth app that the input is your microphone. Your microphone, of course, has a name, so when you go into the program, whether it's Zoom or something else, you have to look for the input called whatever your microphone's called. Mine is called the Audio-Technica 2100 USB microphone. So that is what I select. What is at risk here? What What is the pitfall that we're trying to avoid? It's your computer using your internal microphone on your computer instead of your USB microphone. 
you need to let your computer know what you are using. Otherwise, you're not going to sound your best. I want you to sound your best. That's the whole point of this episode. A microphone sounds better than an internal computer microphone any day of the week. Select your microphone as your input. Tip number five, your headphones are the output. O-U-T, P-U-T, output. Select your headphones as your output. This applies to the same situations as the microphone. Whether you're using audio engineering software, video conferencing software, or an app on your computer, you must tell the program you're using what your output is. Tip number six. If you are using an audio interface because you have an XLR microphone, you have to tell your computer what your input and output are. And this can be tricky. Depending on where your headphones are plugged in, the input and the output might be your audio interface. Get it right, or your computer's internal microphone and speakers may automatically be selected. Set it and forget it does not apply here. Check it every time. If you have an audio interface, make sure the audio interface is the input if you're using an XLR microphone. If the headphones are plugged into the audio interface, select the audio interface as your output. If your headphones are connected into the headphone jack of your computer, then you'll have to select your output as headphones. Now, I'm talking about my iMac. These are the settings that I have. If you have a different computer and there are different terminologies used, please get to know your own machine. It will pay off in the long run. Remember, set it and forget it does not apply. Check your settings every time. Tip number seven, tap the microphone gently and make sure that your communication partner can hear it. If you are a podcast guest, make sure that the host can hear you tapping. If you're going solo and you're just there by yourself using an audio engineering software program, press record, tap the mic, and then listen to the playback. You should hear a tapping sound. Last tip, tip number eight, be humble. If you need help, ask. When I bought my first microphone, I couldn't figure out how to make it work. My husband could not figure it out either. Do you know how I got it working? I asked a fellow voice actor for help. There is no shame in asking for help. This ends my eight tips for setting up your microphone. If you need help setting up your microphone or checking to make sure it's working correctly, I can help. I charge $25 for 15 minutes of my time or $50 for 15 minutes if you want the session recorded. Either way, I use Zoom. I know how things are supposed to be set up, and I know pitfalls to avoid. And if we have time left over, we can talk about positioning your microphone in relation to your mouth, how to speak clearly with supported breath, how to avoid popping your P's and other consonants, and maybe talk about any other gear that you may need to buy. I can help you make a shopping list. My scheduling link is in the episode description on your podcast player and in the show notes on thepharmacistvoice.com forward slash podcast. Just look for episode 218. That's all I've got for you today. Let's wrap this up. Setting up a microphone correctly is important and the simplest things make a big impact. Read the directions, plug it in, turn it on, Select the input and the output, tap it gently, take a picture when it's all set up the way you like it, and then get in touch with me if you need help. Thank you for listening to The Pharmacist Voice Podcast, episode 218. Please visit thepharmacistvoice.com to read the show notes. In the show notes today, you will find my scheduling link for mic checks, my social media links, and more. If you know someone who needs help setting up a microphone, please share this episode with them and subscribe to or follow the Pharmacist Voice podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. I'll be back next Friday, June 2nd with a drug name pronunciation episode. Thanks for listening today. I'll talk to you next week.